Hello, everybody. This is Junaid from the Finance Pro. Today, I'm really excited to bring new content. We'll be looking at loan amortization schedules and also how to amortize the transaction cost under IFRS regime. So stay tuned. Now we will make similar schedule from scratch. So let's go to a new sheet. The loan amount is 4.8 million. Tenor is 24 months. Interest rate is 10. Opening balance. The repayment is based on constant annuity. So we can use PMT formula over here. PMT. Rate is 10%. However, this is monthly, so we'll divide it by 12. The number of periods are 24. And the present value of loan is 4.8 million. So this is constant annuity payment. Interest can be calculated by applying the interest rate on the opening balance that is the 4.8 times 10 percent and the principal can be calculated by installment amount minus the interest repaid I'm sorry interest repay should be divided by 12 that's great and the closing balance can now be calculated by opening balance minus the principal repaid there we go now we can extend our table to 24 rows below. And uh, there you go. A little bit of formatting. And as you can see, the amount at the end is zero. That means we have done it correctly. Now, if the company has incurred the transaction cost to obtain the loan, that needs to be amortized based on the effective interest rate, which can be calculated here. The net inflow after deducting the transaction cost, and the outflows are plotted from the original schedule. To calculate the effective rate, we can use IRR formula. To plot our cash flows now this is two percent since we are working on monthly basis we will multiply the rate by 12. this is 21.5 is the new effective interest rate now the opening balance will be the net inflow that is 4.3 million installment again we have already calculated effective interest rate is calculated based on opening balance times the effective rate divided by 12. Actual interest we have already calculated from the previous schedule. Now transaction cost is the difference between the effective rate and the actual interest being paid. Principal repay Again, we have calculated already. Now the closing balance will be opening balance minus the principal rebate plus the transaction cost. Now we copy the formula towards the bottom. And let's see if we've made this schedule correctly. As you can see, the closing balance is zero. That means we have calculated all the numbers correctly. Now let's see the journal entries for this schedule. For first period, installment amount will be cash credit, interest expense debit, amortization of transaction cost credit, 
and the liability repaid again debit we can also use index match or we look up to calculate the general entries by periods so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching